introduction, and uh, I think it's important who we are um, as far as what we do. So we're a new product development firm, uh, industrial design consultancy. You know, most of those words are pretty meaningless. Um, we're, uh, what we really are is we're a group of super passionate, unbelievably talented people. Um, we're <laughs> not myself, that's the, the rest of the team. And uh, I'm just really fortunate to uh, work with this group. And it's people who are busting at the seams, who uh, just doing our daily job isn't enough. Um, people want to do more. They have tons of energy. How do we focus that? Um, what we really do, industrial design, is all about products. It's all about improving the quality of life. That's really why we do it. And what we do is we do research to identify what are actual problems that people have so we can improve their lives. And then we do industrial design. We do um, creative problem solving to solve those problems. And, and really how we do it is through relationships. You know, it's all about people and how we relate to um, individuals and we really try to get in people's lives and how can we actually affect their world through the products. Products are really how we interact through the world. It's our interface to life, really, if you think about it. So a little bit, where's our little cheat sheet? Talk about what we want to talk about. So why should we be involved? Um, PhilMade is an international uh, humanitarian aid organization and their job is they go to refugee camps and they set up and they show films to educate people on STDs, on drinking water, on you know raising your kids. Um, anybody in here, if somebody just call out a number, how many years do you think the average person spends in a refugee camp? Okay. Yeah, 17. All right. Yeah, it blows everybody's mind when they hear that. Um, so that's, that's really why we started getting involved. Getting involved. It's, it's amazing. Kids grow up, they spend their lives in refugee camps. Um, so what they do is they show these films, um, and they also show entertainment, right? People just need a break. Um, they're run like, you know, it's a pretty difficult place to live, so people need a break. So why did we get involved? Um, you're going to see the last presentation is with Stephanie from Need Magazine, and they just do amazing things. And they, they use design in a different way. How can they use design to help change the world? And we said, how can we use our services and offer what we do and all of the amazing processes and our creativity and our team, how can we offer that to other people around the world who don't have access to that? And how can we donate our time? So that's really how we made our connection. Um, it was through Need Magazine, and we came to Film Aid, and we came to add them. We didn't know what we were going to design. We ended up working on the trailer that Jackie will talk about. We just really asked them, what are your problems? And, you know, we want to help you. And they, they were actually, it was difficult to find people who would take us seriously because they couldn't believe that we were going to do the work. You know, we were going to do it for, for free. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. You want to talk? Sure. I'll hold on to the cheat sheet, too. So I want to talk a little bit also about um, why designers should be involved in this sort of work. Um, like Christian said, our training is creative problem solving. We have the tools, the skills, and the resources to take an idea from concept um, to reality and oftentimes production. And we wanted to use that to move past MP3 players and a lot of things you can buy in store, medical products, to help people who don't have access to considered design. And Filmade is our first product for that. So what we had to do initially, um, you know, we treated Filmade just like any other client. However, we had to be a little bit more flexible with the schedule because billable work does need to happen as well. Um, so the first question we had to ask is, you know, what is a refugee camp? None of our staff have ever been to Africa. Um, so our experience there is very limited, so we try to understand the situation as um, much as possible before we even try to understand what FilmAid does on a day-to-day -day basis. So once we understood what FilmAid does, um, the environment that FilmAid's in, we could start looking at the way that they worked. And we noticed that the environment that they work in is really hot, um, really dusty. Right now they're in Kenya and Tanzania and windy, so it caused a lot of problems with their equipment because they're putting all their equipment in the truck that you saw earlier and they had to take it out into the environment and it caused their equipment to break. So noticing problems such as that, um, we decided that keeping a lot of the equipment on the trailer would help solve the problem of equipment breaking and also an idea of a trailer, they don't have to be dependent on a donated truck um, like that Mercedes truck. They can use it with any Land Rover that they do have access to in these refugee camps. Um, Chi Chi, go for it. Yeah, a little, and a little bit about the, the kind of the trailer concepts. It changed the truck. They only had one truck. It had to drive super slow. So it's, the import taxes are insane. So even if you want to raise money and bring things in, so that all the concepts that you see are, are actual deliverable. We actually are going to make their first trailer. Um, but the actual deliverable is a set of plans that can be read in any language, kind of like a, a map, like your instructions from Ikea or something like that. So the, the point is that it can be constructed of any materials um, wherever it's made in the world, and that people can get involved locally and can even get involved in the Exactly. And, uh, and uh, what you're seeing right here is part of the process was trying to solve um, 
where the equipment is stored and facilitate their entire process. And ultimately, for the trailer design, um, facilitating how the equipment is used, we were able to create a system that allows them to reach more refugees. They now have the vision to be an emergency assistance um, sort of dispatch, like if something like Katrina <coughs> did happen, they can take these trailer systems, which are easily made, can hook up to any towing vehicle, and they can get down to Katrina. And they can show movies to people who are displaced, as well as be a center for information, so they can communicate um, information to people as quickly as possible who have been through a traumatic experience. So, I don't, I don't know if we mentioned it, so the average screening at these refugee camps is like 30,000 people. Yeah, which is pretty insane. So, um, we've done a ton of research and speakers. Um, they, they want their trailer to be, um, they want people to notice it when it comes in, but they don't want it to be like too ostentatious, so we try to put some branding in. So, uh, to wrap up, you know, that, so what, what does this mean? I mean, it's, it's had a huge impact on our company, and um, it's, it's just a great story, and we talked to so many people and designers, how can I get involved, and how can we start getting our business to do this? Um, we have a plan moving forward. We're actually going to start, we're looking for partners right now, um, working with some additional design firms to work on two or three other smaller projects. And hopefully this spot could get rolling and can be a larger organization in and of itself. So, and the important part, if you're wondering how you can get involved, um, you certainly can email either of us, it's Jackie at world.com or Christian at world.com. And really what you need, um, buy off from top management. You know, we've really found that to make it a serious project. Um, the important part is talking to the film aid, tons of people offer their time and their services. Um, and we're having them, but it's, um, it's really getting implemented. And what we're really trying to do is you know, put the effort in to actually get that change beyond just an idea you know, where the rubber meets the road. Thank you very much.